Are you a new player on Horizon XI and struggling to make ends meet? Are you still walking around in your Christmas outfit pretending you're roleplaying as Santa just because you really can't afford anything else? Do you like the great outdoors and have a second monitor with a fresh new anime to enjoy? Fret not adventurer as I have the solution to your problems. Zarbrawl here and welcome to my Horizon XI fishing guide. I had made a similar video on the Wings XI private server a few months back and I come to you now with a updated version made specifically for the new hot server Horizon. We will cover here a few options to get those juicy skill ups along with some tips to maximize your profits. Keep in mind this is really an early guide and some things are bound to be discovered later which might alter the information in this video. For this reason, consider this sort of a 1.0 version of a guide which might be updated later on. Most of the information here was shared to me by fishermen that have dedicated a lot of time and effort gathering precious intel and I am very excited to now pass on this knowledge to all of you. Keep in mind these camps are just recommendations as most fish can be caught in a multitude of zones. If you have any additional tips or information to add in general, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. With all of this out of the way, let's jump right into the video. Let's start with the basics. In order to start fishing on Horizon XI, you will need to have at least one job at level 15. The fishing guild is located in Port Windurst at C8. You will need to come show one of your catch to the guild master every 10 levels in order to raise your level cap. The type of fish you need to trade will be listed in the description of this guide. Also, fish have a certain population in each of the fishing spots. This means that if a large amount of players are all fishing together, it's possible to exhaust the fish entirely and have to wait some time for it to repopulate. This will make it so you won't be able to fish anything up for a little while. With this in mind, I will try and give you a few alternatives when possible to give you some options to work with. As a general rule of thumb, you want to cancel any and all bad and terrible feelings as these will have a chance to snap your line or even worse, break your rod. While the fishing gear is not needed to get started, it's highly recommended later on as it will allow you to move on to more profitable camps sooner and overall make the experience a lot easier. The good news is fishing gets profitable from the first camp and the profits you will generate will easily cover the expenses needed to acquire the set. Speaking of the first camp, our first target is conveniently located in any of the major cities. You can grab any cheap rod like a bamboo rod along with little worms to get started. Your main target here will be moat carps as they will provide you excellent skill ups while providing you with very, very good gill. The little worm will also catch you some crayfish which will provide some skill ups but are not nearly as valuable. Carps are always in demand as players buy them constantly to farm for their Lu Shangs, one of the best and most versatile rod in the game. For this reason, they usually don't stay on the auction house for very long. Whenever possible, swap the little worms for insect balls as this will give you a much better chance of getting the carps, isolating them from the crayfish. Do this until you reach level 11 and don't forget to bring a carp to the guild master to increase your level cap to 20. Sell all the carps and use the profits made to purchase the fishing set. I want to emphasize here that carps will always be a decent source of income and some of the later camps will provide you with skill ups but provide a little less steady income source than the carps. If you need early gill, don't hesitate to fish them for as long as you need to get by. You can alternatively go to Knight's Well in West Round 4 which was the main camp I recommended on Wings XI as the insect pace here will completely isolate the carps but the popularity of this fishing spot might be an issue due to the fish population mentioned earlier in this video. Still a great fishing spot if you see it's not overly crowded. 
Level 11 to 19 kinda sucks in all honesty. The two main targets here are Qs, which cap at level 19, and Yellow Globes that will cap at level 17. Both can be caught with a Bamboo Rod, but have a chance of breaking. If you can't afford it, a Alcyon Rod here is fantastic and will be useful for a lot of the camps we will cover in this guide. If not, I personally opted for a Carbon Rod which was a little bit cheaper and worked really well. You will want to use a Sabiki Rig along with the Rod to maximize your time fishing these, granting you a chance to catch two fish in one go. Yellow Globes can be fished in Mora or Port Juno with good success, and the Qs can be fished in Salbina, Port Winders, or Port Bastok. These camps will also yield some Bastor Sardines. While these cap at level 9, they can be used in a quest in Winders that will generate about 70 gil per turning, along with a little bit of fame. If you want to maximize profits though, you can also level your cooking skill to around level 10, and convert them into sliced carps. Every fish will generate two slices that then NPCs for about 54 gil each, giving you a much better profit margin. Either way you look at it, these won't really come close to the profits you made on carps and will kinda suck until you reach level 19. Level 19 to 29 gets a little bit more interesting. Here you have a few options. Moorish Idols caps at level 26 and can be caught on Porgano Isle using a Alcyon Rod with a Worm Lure, or even better, a Shrimp Lure if you're able to purchase one. The NPC for about 200 gil each and won't require any crafts or even the Auction House to be viable. The North Beach there will have a chance to catch Trilobites which are a much higher level so just make sure to cancel any bad or terrible feelings. The East and West side are free of them but you have to watch for aggro for surrounding mobs. Another good option here is Pipiras, which will cap at level 29. You can fish those using a Carbon or Alcyon Rod along with a Minnow. The Lake in East Saruta Baruta is awesome for them as they have quite a large population, but you can even fish them in Winders Waters, Woods and Walls. These can be cooked if you have cooking level 21+, plus, then sold to NPCs or simply thrown on the Auction House. Lastly, and probably the best option overall for Gil, you can fish Tiger Cods which will also cap at level 29. You'll want to fish those in Soromug Champagne using a Carbon or Halcyon Rod with a Shrimp Lure. Again, make sure to cancel any bad feelings. If you have cooking at 13 plus or close to it, you can convert each fish into Sliced Cod, and each fish will generate 6 of them. You can then NPC those for 50 gil each, meaning each fish will generate 300 gil, which is really not that bad. If not, you can just throw them on the auction house for some decent money. Now let's cover level 29 to 39. The best target for this level range are in my opinion the Nusto Herring. You can catch those at H6 in Kfem Island using a Carbon or Halcyon Rod, along with a Shrimp Lear or Sardine Balls. The good thing about this camp is you will also catch some Tiger Cods, which will not provide any skill ups at that point, but will still make it worthwhile in terms of gill making. The Herring can be used into cooking, but will require some Ice Crystals which are not cheap, so I'd recommend just NPCing them honestly. Another alternative are Ogre Eels and Gold Lobsters, which can be caught in East or West Saruta Baruta in the ocean using a Halcyon Rod with a Sinkin Minnow which can be both NPC'd for some change. The eels will cap at 35, and the lobster can provide skill ups for up to level 46. Next on the list, level 39 to 47. You can fish some Zafmlug. Zafmlug? Zafmlug. You can fish some Zafmlug bass, which will offer great skill ups, but cap at level 43. Use a Halcyon Rod with a Warm Lure in either Port Bastok or Bibiki Bay at Sunset Docks. There are speculations that fishing them in town provides less skill ups, but these were never proven, so whichever is easier for you should work. They are pretty worthless sadly, so just NPC them for some pocket change. Another more profitable alternative are the Black Eels in Zerun Mines, using the same Warm Lure. These actually NPC for about 200 each, 
so they will provide good skill ups for you and some gil until level 47. Moving on to level 47 to 55. Next on the list, Blue Tails will be your main target here using a Alcyon Rod and a Minnow. These can be synthed into Sliced Blue Tail, which is used to fish up Marlins using the quest Inside the Belly, which can provide a Pirate Sharp for the Mercurial Chris and Fishing Rings. The best location to fish those is anywhere that's not too crowded, uh, with Buburima Peninsula being probably the most efficient. You can alternatively fish them in Puronorgo Isles at the docks, Battalia Downs, though they are not isolated, and you will also fish up some Calamaries, which NPC for about 180 gil each. The Blue Tails themselves NPC for about 300 each, making them a prime target for both skill ups and some gil. Now level 55 to around 76. This range is kind of rough for fishing. One decent option you have here is El Shimo Newts, which can be caught in the underground ponds under the outposts in Yutunga jungle using an Alskin Rod and a Froglier. The big kicker for this one is that they don't stack, making them extremely annoying to sell for profit. These cap at level 60, so you could always just use the lure and toss the fish until you reach level 60, which kind of sucks in all honesty. Another option is Crescent Fish, which are caught using the Alcyon Rod along with a Fly Lure in the lake at Eastern Saruta Baruta. The kicker for this one though is that the lake is very crowded at the moment, and you will need a full fishing set along with advanced support from the fishing guild to make sure you avoid any failed attempts due to skill if your skill is below 56. Also, these have a chance to make your line snap making you lose the lure in the process. This is where getting a Lushang might start to be appealing, but if you want to avoid the headache, just bring a few lures just in case. They do sell for over 400 gil each though, making them really decent for making gil. At 61, you can also start catching Silver Sharks in Battalia Downs using an Alcyon Rod along with Meatballs. These will offer skill ups up to level 76, and it looks like their resale value have been nerfed pretty badly on the server to around 210 gil versus over 500 gil on other versions of the game. I'm not sure if this was a temporary nerf due to some exploits found early in the life of the server, so this might be up to change. Either way, the skill ups are worth it while offering a decent income at the same time. You can also normally fish Mithril Swords here which NPC for great gil, but this has also been nerfed completely to the ground on the server again due to some exploits. Not sure if this will change in the future, but at the moment, you cannot reliably fish them, even with 8 Lu Shangs. Once you got a few levels with the Sharks, you can now move to Bastor Breams, which cap at level 86, using an Alcyon Rod or a Composite Rod with Shrimp Lures. These can be fish in Port Bastok and Port Winders. The bite rate is absolutely terrible and they have a chance of snapping your line, making you lose your lure. Lushangs will resolve the issue if you're willing to farm for it at this point. These can be sold to the auction house for sushi, but since the server is so new, if you're watching this on release, it's probably more efficient to just NPC them. Next on the list, Black Souls. These are a great option and can be fished as early as level 72 if you have Lu Shangs. Using a Sinkin Minnow anywhere in Fim Island, Battalia Downs, or Saramu Champagne. Alcyon Rod can work, but you will have a chance of the line breaking. These NPC for some real cash though, around 700 gil each. This is where a lot of players will use the gil made here to really push towards Lu Shangs which will pretty much be needed for the last few skill ups shown in this guide. Finally, Armored Pisces can be fished in Olten Mavalpolos using a Frogler and your trusty Lu Shang's Rod, or alternatively, a Composite Rod. These don't stack but sell for 900 gil plus for each catch. This is really the final stretch to cap your fishing to level 100. That's pretty much it for my fishing guide. 
Again, this would not have been possible without a lot of help from the community and a few veteran fishermen. I want to reiterate that this is a 1.0 version for Fishing in Horizon, as I'm sure there's still much more to be discovered and new strategies camps will probably be discovered over time. I still want to make sure to get this video out as soon as possible as I know a lot of people have been scrambling for information or even following my older guide which was Wings XI specific. If you have anything else to add and share with the group, please make sure to leave it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this guide, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel for much more Horizon XI content coming real soon. Thanks a lot for watching everyone and happy fishing.